Okay, so today I'm going to go over a quick sketch. This is the first video in the quick sketch drawing series. So quick sketch is the best way to build up your drawing skills. Okay, so it's kind of like your your practice, that's the way you, you build yourself up. So if you're going to have to do a really important drawing or a painting, it's a good way to warm up, maybe do a little research, maybe experiment with uh, some different styles or maybe explore some different angles, play around with all the different possibilities before you really commit to an extended period of time of one drawing. Right, so quick sketch, we're going to do like maybe 10 rapid fire quick sketches, see which one comes out the best, and then commit to that one for the bigger, more important drawing or painting. Uh, today, uh, for this particular video, we're just going to go over some very fundamentals of drawing. Okay, so this, this is a process that I learned back when I went to school at Californ the Art Institute of California in Los Angeles. And uh, it's basically a slight modification of uh, drawing methods that I learned from from a European master uh, painter named Marjan Hormozy. Yeah, she was kind of like the uh, the woman in The Incredibles, right? The fashion designer. So she used to, she was this master painter, and she taught us like this is the three basic steps to drawing anything. Okay, so for our first example, we'll go ahead and draw a Pixar character from the most recent Pixar film. So this would be Merida. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Actually, let me use this one. Okay, so this is Merida. And we're basically going to do a quick sketch, okay? So the first step to doing quick sketch is we need to, I'm sorry, let me get on the right layer. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need our gesture lines. This is number one, gesture, right? And these are very uh, expressive strokes, uh, but light strokes, so expressive. Is a very, and we're going to use very few of them, so very few expressive strokes to express uh, the essence or the emotion or the suspense of the character, okay? So these are expressive lines, gesture lines, okay? So it's kind of like a stick figure, but a very curvy stick figure if you're drawing people, okay? Let me switch my brush, so I'm going to use a pencil. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw basically one or two expressive lines to express Merida, okay? So she, I'm gonna draw this one line for her entire body, okay? So this is gonna be right here. And then I'm gonna do one for her shoulders, and then one for her eye line. So this is kinda like her face. And then this is her, her arm, which is coming across the front of her body. And then of course, there's her legs. So one, so one line for each leg, one or two for the uh, that one that really important arm, and then I'm just going to do a couple small strokes for her other arm. Okay, so it might be hard to tell. Basically, only the person who draws the strokes really knows what those strokes mean. It's okay. The, the drawing doesn't need to make sense at this point. It just needs to have some expression. It needs to have some uh, some organic uh, feeling to it. Okay. Now, for you guys to to help you guys better understand what's going on here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to redraw over the original reference art so that you get an idea of where, why I chose certain lines, okay? So we're trying to express Merida here with just a very few lines, right? So I'm going to start with that one, that action line, the gesture that goes from the top of her head all the way down to the bottom of the subject, right? And then I'm trying to get a sense of the action and the suspense, so I'm going to draw this crazy line right here. And then, of course, because it's such a big shape, I'm going to actually have two lines for the arm, and it's coming across the front, right? And then I, I haven't drawn it yet, but later on, I'm going to redo this whole process for just her hand, because that hand is very expressive. It's an important part of the drawing. But for now, we're going to work big to small, which I'll explain in a minute. But I basically did one line for that leg, one line for this leg, and then, of course, I, did, I wanted to keep an eye on her shoulders. And then I had one line for the other arm, and then I was trying to get a sense of her head, and this is what I meant by her eye line. Okay, so do you guys see how that translates to this drawing down here? So now let's move on to step two, okay? 